Hello friends, welcome to TechOS channel. This is for the medical technologies by your tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about correlation between laboratory instruments. Do you have more than one instrument for running the test? If so, are you getting the same results from all instruments when you repeat the same sample? If there are difference between the instrument results, how much? Is this difference is within the allowable range? Then what is the allowable difference between instruments? How to calculate the correlation coefficient value for the analyte between the instruments? What are the corrective measures to get within the range? How often to check the correlation coefficient? Usually, correlation coefficient studies are done when we install a new instrument. This will be done by the company and they will do the correlation between the new instrument and the previous instrument and also with the new instrument and the similar type of same model instrument present elsewhere to make sure the results are the same. This is a part of the new instrument validation methods. We may think that we are running the QC at regular intervals and all are in instruments are within 2 SD value then why should we do this correlation here is the example I run a glucose QC at first instrument it is 96 milligrams per DL that is within minus 2 SD the second instruments gave 104 milligrams per DL that is also within 2 SD plus 2 SD because our mean is 100 milligrams per DL. Both QCs are within the range, but according to glucose allowable error, it should be 6 milligrams per DL. But here the difference is 8 milligrams per DL between the instruments. When we repeat a test, we do not run the test on the same instrument we may run it on any instrument this difference between instruments are crucial when the results are in the borderline of reference range we need to do the correlation studies for all the tests performed by more than one instrument if some of the tests are performed in a particular instrument and no other instrument runs the test even in the breakdown situations we need not do the correlation studies. There are three types of correlation coefficient. Negative correlation value is closer to minus 1. When one variable changes, the other variable changes in the opposite direction. Example, hemoglobin for the same patient and heptoglobin in hemolytic anemia cases. Correlation coefficient value with zero is there are no correlation between two variables that is example of glucose and calcium for the same patient which has no correlation positive correlation value is plus one closer to one when one variable changes the other variable changes in the same direction example running the sample for analyte in two instruments both have to give the same value because we are running the same test. The correlation coefficient tells you how closely our data fit on the line. If we have a linear relationship, we will draw a straight line of best fit that takes all of our data points into account on a scatter plot. The closer our points are at the same line, the higher the absolute value of the correlation coefficient and the stronger our linear correlation. If all the points are perfectly on this line, we have a perfect correlation that is what we expect. If all the points are closer to this line, the absolute value of correlation coefficient is high. This is also a good value. If these plots are spread far from this line, the absolute value of our correlation coefficient is low. 
Pearson product movement coagulation coefficient is a measure of the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two variables that is defined as the covariance of the variables divided by the product of their standard deviation. It is a linear two quantitative variables. Pearson correlation coefficient is commonly used to calculate the co coefficient in the lab. Don't worry about these calculations. Software programs are available commercially or we can calculate using Microsoft Excel by just entering the values. How often to run the correlation coefficient? It is everyday performance to check the correlation between the instruments but also keep watching the results for any malfunction of the instrument. Whenever any rerun has to be done for high or low values, always run it on the other instrument second time to check the results variation. Follow the laboratory accreditation board instructions for the frequency of correlation coefficient studies. Normally it is every six months. All the tests in the hematology lab, coagulation studies, biochemistry, special chemistry run by more than one instrument needs correlation coefficient. Follow the procedures and protocol to run the test if your accreditation board has the program. Next is how much difference is allowed between the instrument. For each analyte, the laboratory accreditation board, proficiency test program authorities or the state health departments has the total allowable error list. It differs according to the analyte. For example, for glucose 6 mg per deciliter, for hemoglobin it is plus or minus 7%. I have given the website for the total allowable error list given by the international board. We will have another video on correlation coefficient about the procedure and calculation. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.